Hello again everyone, welcome to my first ever season 2 strategy guide and it's for wall guys. So I stream four guys on Twitch every day, I'd love to see you there if you want to pop by. So the starting position for this level is slightly helpful, there's only ever two lines and being on the front one just gives you a little extra chance to get ahead but I think if you're on the second one you can still get ahead of everyone else. The randomness is medium, basically it is the blocks position which is randomized which can help you or hinder you depending on where they're placed and the technicality I would say is quite high. You've got to be good at grabbing, you've got to be good at climbing, good at jumping and diving and parkouring in general. So as we move into the strategy section I want to make it clear that I, I started to hate this level but then I really loved it. So there's a lot of people out there that hate the level as well so hopefully this guide will help you understand why I love it and will make you love it too. And the first thing to go towards that is the overall way you should play this level and that is the floor is lava. The overall best strategy to employ in wall guys is from jumping from one wall across the block straight to another wall without actually even touching the floor. We'll be doing this wherever possible. So first of all how do we climb ledges? This is really important obviously and I think it's been changed recently. So if you're holding grab and you're hanging on a ledge you won't automatically climb it anymore. I swear you used to but you don't anymore. Okay, so if you're just holding grab on a ledge, you'll just hang there and you'll get sweat drips coming off you and they'll get faster and faster until you can't hang on anymore and then you'll drop. What you have to do is jump towards the ledge and hold grab and then hold forward on your controller or keyboard to climb up. So let's take a moment to talk about the tiers of blocks. So there are five tiers of blocks that's ranging from very small, growing, growing, growing till you get to very tall. And although their position is randomized in an area, they will always follow a certain pattern like this. So in the first area, you get tier one blocks and tier two blocks. In the second area, you get tier one, tier two, and tier three. In the third area, you get one, two, three, and four. And in the fourth area, you get all five tiers of blocks. So when it comes to actually clearing a wall and actually managing to get over it, in order to clear a wall, you don't actually need to get onto the highest block tier of that area, okay? you only actually need to get to the highest tier minus one. So in the first area where you've got tier one and tier two blocks, you only actually need to get onto tier one in order to jump and grab onto the wall and climb up. Now obviously climbing up onto a wall is slower than simply jumping over it. So if you do have an access to tier one that jumps nice and neatly onto a tier two, you should do that and then jump over the wall. But um, just be aware that you don't actually ever need to get onto the highest tier block. It will help, but you can jump and grab onto the wall from the highest tier, minus one. So this might seem a little simple, but to grab a ledge, you have to jump towards it and hold the grab button. And your angle of your jump has to be 45 degrees from straight on. So for example, if you jump straight on, you can go at like a 45 degrees from either left or right and still manage to actually turn around and grab it. So a little warning here is about not enough space. You can't actually climb somewhere where someone is already climbing. You need to either climb next to them where there's space, so make sure there's about one bean's width worth of space next to them and climb onto that, or wait for them to finish climbing so you can climb into the space they were on. So there are some issues as well. Sometimes your character will decide to let go of the ledge while he's climbing for no reason. I think that's a bug and I think it's based on when people grab you while you're trying to climb and it, or knock into you, I don't know. But sometimes your character just lets go and that's annoying. Sometimes also you can grab onto someone who's at the top of a ledge instead. So you're trying to grab the ledge but if someone's standing up there you might grab onto them instead and fall down. So just be careful of that. Try not to get into that situation if possible. Another thing to be aware of is you shouldn't be scared to move a block. If you don't have a clear route, move a block to help. Ideally, if you're ahead of people because you've been doing the strategies in this guide, you can move a block and still be the first to climb up it so that you can still have an advantage over everyone else and you're not stuck with the mob. So now moving on to the tips and tricks section, our first tip is jump, diving and then grabbing. You can jump, dive and hold the grab button to grab a block or a ledge. So you use this to reach blocks or walls that are out of reach. It is risky, sometimes you might bonk off it and you want to aim to have your hands just above, just slightly above the ledge that you want to grab onto. If you're too high, you might bonk off it. If you're too low, you will bonk off it. Okay, so you want to make sure your hands are about on the ledge that you're going to grab onto. And this follows the same sort of rules as normal grabbing onto ledges. 
straight on 45 degrees either way and you'll grab onto it. The second tip is don't climb if you don't need to. The climbing is very slow. If there's an easy route to the highest tier block just by jumping, you might as well take it because it's going to be faster than jumping and climbing on a wall. You see it very often in the tier 1 area, the first area you go to. A lot of people try and go to, to the tier 2 blocks. You don't really need to, but if you've got an easy jump, you might as well do it. So the next tip is across the wall. When you're looking for the optimal route to the next area across the blocks, if there's a really good route but it's quite far down, definitely move across the current wall you're on. Just jumping across the crenellation so you get the best jump off point is an and amazing strategy push. and you should definitely do it. So the fourth tip is the peasant push 2.0. If there's no clear route across the blocks to the next wall, for example, the highest tier block is too far away from the wall so you won't make it, you can just wait on top of that block. It's very common that people below you will push that block towards the wall. Now there will be possibly two of the highest tier blocks, so they may push the other one, but at some point it will very likely be that your block will get pushed, so you can just wait on top of it. If they don't push your one, at least you get a nice jump off point so you can see what's going on and, and evaluate the area. Um, so it's very nice to stay on the highest tier block if you can't actually make it to the wall. So that is it for my wall guys strategy guide. Again, just to reiterate, it's all about the floor is lava. You want to make your way across the, across the top of the walls, get the best jump off point, get onto the blocks without actually having to climb up. Ideally, you don't want to climb very much if possible. Or if you do, just climb onto the walls, not onto the blocks themselves. Now, if you're in with the mob, you've really just got to stick it out. You know, be patient, wait for other people to finish their climbing so you can jump onto an empty space or jump onto an empty space that's next to them. Hopefully, you enjoyed the strategy guide. I'm going to put some clips now where I played it. I'll put some bad clips in there too where I'm with the mob so you can see that as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again very soon. Take care. What the actual f*** is that? How am I only learning about this mechanic now? I agree. All right, wall guys. So we only need tier one, but we will go for tier two because it means we don't have to dive. Uh, we don't have to jump. It means we just, we don't have to grab, sorry. Right, um, I think this one will go there, I think. Oh, okay, not great. We'll just, yeah, you go, get up. I don't know why they're all going down there. So now we really want to make sure that we're jumping to ones which will help us get up. If possible, you don't want to ever touch the floor. Basically, the floor is lava. All right. And we're going to do the basic thing here too. So we want to go over here. And then this one goes to that one. And then this one should just be a simple jump. Yeah. It's not always possible. They are random positions. Sorry, I've got to do a bit of a... Like that. They are random positions, but... Ideally, you want to play it like floor is lava. You want to jump off the walls onto uh, a, a route which will leave you with your up, right? Uh, it's not always possible because they are random, but if you get up there first, if you start getting a bit of headway, you can push a block and then get up real quick before anyone else. So, Yay! Wall guys, one of my favourites. So first thing we're looking at is the tier of the towers, tier of, tier of the blocks. So on the first jump, we only need tier one to get up. But if we get a nice ride to tier two, like that's a nice ride there. I think we'll probably just go here. I'll probably go here and here so I don't have to actually jump. Oh god, that's not fair. This is going to hurt, but okay, I'll take it. Uh, I think I can grab there. Okay, this is nice. We're going to go over here. Just so we can go over here like this. Okay. Someone needs to move that forward. Um, there we go. Someone moved it forward for us. We'll go over here. Um, I'm not sure. I think this will do. Pretty sure it will. There we go. 
Probably the dog. Or Stewie. Whoa! What happened there? We gotta wait for him. to hold it up. I think you have to hold up, right? Okay. You came first. Nice. When I lean forward, it means business. <laughs> it helps. So you got to hold up to climb up, right? Because I was tapping it like that and it wasn't working. So you got to hold up to climb up. Right. That's probably the reason then. Because they threw that mechanic in there and didn't tell anyone about it. Because I swear that didn't used to be the case. It used to be that you had no choice but to climb up. But now you do. And that's where the sweat comes in as well. I think that might be a really important game to show.